Jim. Proudly brought to you. The way of a Victoria Carnival style. Oh, what a feeling. I agree with you. It was Gosh, a terrific uh, performance there. Jumped and ran and uh, never let up. So, must be rated a chance all the same. Good type of animal. He looks very mm. impressive in the mounting yard. Now, these first starters, number five, Keeper. Greg Hall is the rider. Graham Rogerson trains. Is by the all-conquering Dane Hill, trained on the track. Rich, that's important. Yes, it is, because he's probably had some experience up the straight. I went down to Cranbourne for the trials on the 18th of October and saw this horse win a trial in the fastest time for the two-year-olds. Quite an impressive horse in the Lloyd Williams colours there of uh, Mahogany and other great horses. Greg Hall on the saddle, drawn the one alley. Yeah, I, I think it's a good outside chance. And the other first starter is number six, Zorro, which is also trained here on the track by Peter Hayes to be ridden by Greg Childs, and this is by the all-conquering Zedative. What a mighty sprinter he was, Letty. He was, and uh, when the Hayes team come over here without racing in Adelaide first, Pete, they're very hard to beat. But why isn't Zorro wearing blinkers? Why isn't well, Zorro, Zorro wearing wears blinkers? a mask. That's very good, John. You yes. even just managed to get over us there. Yes, wow. see, I thought I'd get you once today. Uh, we're going to ponder that, Dan, and uh, <laughs> you can take us through the tight figures. Very good. He, he's been talking to Peter Hayes about nominating that horse for two months now. He's kept it under his hat. The favourite is Pembleton. I don't think I've ever seen a more impressive-looking individual than this two-year-old. He's one of the finest-looking athletic thoroughbreds I have ever seen. What a picture. And he's the favourite. We know why. 390 Jesterella Boy, 570 Preserve, a small field, uh, but a lot tipped about the, these horses. Between them, they've had four starts for four wins. That's an impressive record, but it's Pembleton, the horse from Canberra, who won its only start by nine lengths, is the favourite, and after having one look at him, it is no wonder why, Pete. He is a lovely looking individual, Dan, yes, just looking at him on the monitor here in the uh, studio, he did look fantastic. There is the map, a thousand metres for the Maribyrnong Plate, and they will fly here. This is only a very small field of six, but it's an intriguing race. We've come up with a couple of selections, Jester Boy from Jen, Richard, Dan and Gary, Pembleton from uh, Letsy and myself. We'll be back to see what happens when we return to Flemington for the Maribyrnong Plate, the 129th running after this break, live around Australia on Network 10. And there is that fellow who has so impressed Dan Maliki. Did he impress you too, Gary? He certainly did, Peter. He looks magnificent. He looks like a three-year-old. He's by marauding. I remember him winning the Golden Slipper, ridden by Ronnie Quinton. But uh, I also like the six. I thought it looked very well, Zorro. And the uh, three, Preserve. So I marked them four, six and three. But it uh, be interesting to see just how quick he can go, this horse. Pembleton's in, Jester Boy links up, David Hall, Brett Preble. Can they register another winner? It's certainly been their week. Set to go for the Maribyrnong Plate Group 2. Away in racing. Pembleton, a little bit awkward to get out of the gates. Jester Boy jumped well with Happy Giggle. Now at this stage, they are going straight up the middle, perhaps drifting slightly towards the outside. There's virtually a line of six. You've probably got Happy Giggle just in front of Jester Boy and Pembleton's up there in the middle in the yellow cap. Just in behind them, Zorro, but he wants to hang in a little bit on top of Preserve and in the white cap furthest back towards the centre of the track was Keeper. Onto the course proper they hit. Pembleton has joined Happy Giggle now. Jester Alaboy's about a length behind them. Zorro's under pressure. Preserve's still there and then came Keeper. Down to the 400. It's Happy Giggle and Pembleton together.
it two links to Jester Alaboy and then came Preserve. Pembledon's rider Cassidy goes for the whip. That's Larry Cassidy. Happy Giggle just in front of Pembledon. Two links away Preserve. It's Happy Giggle in front of Pembledon with 100 to go. Happy Giggle's drifted across the hills of Pembledon. But it's two links clear. Preserve battling on. Happy Giggle's going strongly and it's going to win it. Happy Giggle first. Good go the minor placing. Second goes Preserve. Third in was Pembledon and then came Keeper. Zorro and Jester Alaboy last in. Happy Giggle, well, he's got the right jockey on Stephen Baster because he's always got a big smile when he rides a winner. No wonder, that's a double. Two races so far, both trained by Jim Mason, both ridden by Stephen Baster. Yes, and uh, preserved by G. It got home very well the last little bit. It's got very close at the finish. But uh, Happy Giggle did a very good job. Uh, I was disappointed with Pebbleton. He was under pressure a oh, good 200 metres out and dropped off, and the other two have got right away in the finish. Two, three, four are official. Now here they are here, then it's um, Happy Giggle on the inside with the circle round. Pemilton's just on his outside. And he's just starting to feel the pinch here. You can see his head's gone on the side. Yeah, from Pemilton he seems to go across his heels, but at the same time he wasn't two lengths in front of him, but he did uh, he did come across him as you can see there. Yes, but I think he'd drop right off and preserve and those three colours is the one that gets home. Here's Mark Aston. Yes, thank you very much, Dan. Jim Mason, uh, two for two. You can't get much better than that. No, it's um, yeah, a good way to end the last day of the carnival. Gee, he was very impressive at Flemington and again today. Yeah, look, I, I thought he was well above his right quota on, he, on his first up win. You know, it was like he ran 33 and a quarter, his last 600. Um, he's a very smart horse. And, you know, I mean, this race today was if he could win the day because he's always leading the Magic Men. So now after winning it, we'll go that way. You know? And magnificently bred for speed. Well, when we bought the horse, I mean, you're guaranteed an early runner, and that's exactly what he's done. And not bad for the fella, uh, fella on top either, two for two. Well, you know, Steve's really good for me because he, he tries 100% for me, and you can't ask for any more than that. Good on you, mate. Good start to the day. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Back to you, Pete. Jim Mason, two out of two, and well done to Stephen Bassler, also two out of two. We spoke to him after the Foster's Melbourne Cup the other day. He didn't have much luck on that little mare, Lay Beal, and he'll come back smiling. And why wouldn't he? Because he's riding a horse called Happy Giggle. It was a very good performance. Preserve second, running on very strongly. Pembleton third. Uh, Jen and Rich, I'll bring you in here. I don't know whether that horse Pembleton handled the ground, Rich. He seemed to get his head up in the last 300 metres or so. He raced like a drunken sailor up the straight. He was all over the place, but uh, big, long striding horse, flat striding horse like him. You'd expect him to like the firm ground. Uh, the little Rory's Jester in front there, the chestnut, well, they skipped through that ground, and uh, they are very good early two-year-olds and preserve running on nicely out wide, and Zorro wasn't a bad run. I suppose the... Uh, the other runner, Jesterella Boy, was, was a little disappointing today, but he may have just been a bit flat after his last win. And I don't think he handled it too well either, just looking at his galloping action. But, Jen, it was interesting to notice Pembleton, the number of strides he was taking compared to the other horses. He's got a big loping gait, hasn't he? Has he ever? He made the winner look like a Shetland well, pony. It doesn't matter. Sometimes they say size is important, but in this case it wasn't because the little ones won. Happy Giggle. Numbers there are two, three and four. Happy Giggle preserved Pembleton. Great start for Jim Mason and Stephen Baxter. We'll head to a break now after the running of the Maribyrn on plate and rejoin you with the correct weight signal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.